All right, thank you for everybody that's logged in so far and joined us. Uh, we're just going to wait a couple more minutes for everybody else to come in. So uh, we'll be starting very soon. Okay, we're going to get started here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. Um, it's going to be a webinar from uh, Sanam and VoIP Supply, uh, talking about some of Sanam's new products, uh, including their uh, their healthcare solutions. Um, during the webinar, please use the Q&A feature located in the bottom right corner of your screen. Uh, we will answer questions at the end of the presentation. Um, also, um, if you're logged in the entire time, we are giving away a $100 gift card uh, for all attendees. So uh, please uh, look out for that. We're going to email the winner um, after uh, the webinar. So, uh, all right. And just to give you some uh, benefits from uh, VoIP Supply, a uh, couple things that we're, we're doing here that we'd like to promote, let everybody know about um, our VoIP rental program. So our device as a service rental program uh, gives you a wide variety of VoIP products for a low monthly payment uh, through a lease program. Uh, hardware and provisioning, uh, featuring over 60 manufacturers that, op that offer over 16,000 products and the ability to provision for you. Uh, we do a lot of that for some really large providers um, right now. I uh, would love for you guys to join that. Uh, Clouds Bay and Marketplace, a uh, single place to shop for various service providers. Uh, you can build up your own monthly recurring revenue and receive discounts on hardware uh, selling through VoIP Supply. Uh, fulfillment, uh, going along with provisioning. Um, provisioning and professional services from multiple warehouse locations in North America, providing real-time access to manage your projects uh, from order through delivery. Uh, so any kind of collateral you guys want to add in there, um, any specific uh, provisioning features you need on the system, we can do all of that um, and do it today. Uh, refresh and reclaim. So we offer certified recondition, recondition devices uh, at a very low cost. Um, and we also do buy back some uh, wipe equipment as well if you have any of that. All right. So um, again, my name is Darren Hartman, VoIP Supply. Uh, I'm going to hand you off to Tim from Sanam, who's going to go over the uh, Sanam solutions. Thank you, Tim. Great. Thanks, Darren, for the introduction. And as always, we uh, appreciate uh, participating in these webinars with VoIP Supply. Um, my name is Tim Sheehan. I'm with uh, Vtech Known. I've uh, been, uh, been in the telecommunications industry. 
uh, a little over 30 years now. And uh, I'm here today to talk about our, uh, some of our healthcare solutions and how all of our, all of our products tie in together uh, and can be used uh, uh, besides just in the straight business to business case, but also in the healthcare scenario and then in the, uh, and also in the assisted living as well. So for some of you who don't know, uh, VTech Stone is a, a combined company worth a little bit over $2 billion, uh, $2 billion globally. We do uh, uh, contract manufacturing, phone development and manufacturing. We have a division that makes, uh, you know, for, for those of you young enough to have a electronic toys or the grandparents who possibly are listening in today, the electronic toys that you, uh, you buy for children, it's a different division. Um, here at Stone, we, our goal, we develop end-to-end -end SIP based solutions. Uh, they're designed and manufactured in-house. Uh, uh, our products are scalable. Uh, anywhere from uh, business deck phones, deck and mobility solutions. We offer key lines, single cell, conference phones, wiring. Also broadcast uh, devices too as well too with our PA1, which also ties in directly with paging systems and so on. We have a hospitality line of hotel type single line, both SIP and analog phones uh, in the marketplace as well. Uh, one of the things we bring uh, bring to the table is our three-year warranty on our desk phones and deck and mobility conference phones, and that's across the board. So the devices that you see today um, do carry a three-year warranty on them. Um, as a lot of companies, um, because we're foreign-owned, uh, uh, we do have North American-based teams. We're located just outside of uh, Portland, Oregon, with our uh, USA headquarters. Our North American headquarters is based up in Vancouver, Canada, with a staff with a number of engineers uh, there locally. We have uh, throughout uh, Canada and uh, uh, in the United States, we have probably close to 50, 50 people working for the company in different various roles, most of us all working remotely. I myself work remotely out of my home office uh, just outside of Philadelphia. So um, again, we're a virtual company as well. We have an extensive dealer, dealer network throughout North America, and we also have uh, our main state-of-the-art uh, distribution center is located just inside uh, San Antonio, Texas. So today, uh, today to start off with, we're gonna talk a little bit about our healthcare uh, and deck mobility solutions and the value that they bring today within the healthcare arena. Um, as we all know that, um, especially with COVID, communications is extremely important. Whether you're uh, in a nursing home facility, whether uh, a assisted living facility, or even uh, larger hospitals or larger uh, uh, healthcare facilities where that contact needs to be made through either paging, um, paging or overhead de deck experiences. So <clears throat> the capabilities that we have currently today we'll talk about is really is our M900 series. This device, device line can be, uh, again, it's a mobile deck based device line can be used throughout both, um, both small offices, medium offices, and even larger hospital facilities. Uh, it's scalable, and, or it's scalable single or multi-cell uh, base stations. It can support up to uh, 30 handset per base stations. Um, Opus codec is optional. Uh, uh, some of that, sometimes that's a requirement now. Um, support for over 30 SIP lines, uh, which also gives you the capability for 10, uh, 10 calls or uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 uh, calls per base station uh, when, when working through a mobile architecture and deck and land synchronization across the board. Our repeaters, the M5 repeater is, is compatible with the 900 base station. It's also compatible with our, uh, some of our lower end other uh, base station models as well too. It can have, each, each repeater can handle up to five simultaneous calls uh, at the same time. One of the key, uh, key attractive parts of our product line is we now have a, a line of what we call antibacterial surface-based phones and devices. Um, it's not a virus type, anti-COVID-19 type thing, but it does any type of bacteria that uh, currently, uh, that's out there today, the way the plastics are formulated and the plastic surface itself, it's very uh, resistant to uh, bacterial adherence. And again, it does comply with certain uh, JIS standards. Again, uh, two inch color display in this particular model in the healthcare, it's white, uh, three soft keys, 
uh, IP65 uh, rugged, ruggedized design. Uh, it does work with a three, uh, three millimeter headset jack. Uh, you have 200, uh, 200 hours of standby time and 17 hours of uh, talk time. And the other, the other uh, great thing about this thing is an alarm button that can be pushed to activate, either show up at the nurse's station or can actually be used in situations, let's say, even in a uh, assisted living community where assistance needed, where a patient has fallen, if, you're, if the attending person is in the room, uh, they can immediately, instead of pulling the chain, they have that button they can push right on their phone itself as an alarm button to bring, uh, to bring people there. It can automatically be tracked back to where you are in the building. From a scalability perspective along this line, is our Dex death set phones, which are really can uh, really used to, can be used in smaller doctors, doctors' offices, medium-sized clinics, larger hospitals as well too, uh, to go along with that line of deck phones uh, out there today. So where our products sit across the board is in the D7 series, the D120, which is our very low-end desk model phone, used sometimes in a break room type environment, or even in an entrance way for security uh, in an assisted living community where they can go off hook and ask to, ask to be uh, uh, buzzed in through the door. The D17 is a, a very affordable six-line phone. 735 is a uh, gigi device and also 12 line along with the 785 with the large color display. I personally use the 785. I prefer that overall and its price point is extremely competitive when, to, when thinking about either um, going up against poly or yellow products. So I recommend it highly. From an expansion module expense, expense uh, uh, we have the capability of our D7 and now under development is the D7C. Uh, colorized version of the uh, of the device itself, and again, it's scrollable across the uh, you're scrollable across the board. You can add up to three uh, three of those modules uh, that can be attached to either the D735, 785, or even 17 if you wanted to. So, talking about uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't also talk about our conference phones in every hospital setting. Um, uh, large hospital setting, there's always a need for a uh, conference, uh, conference phone in a particular conference room or, um, as we know today, in a command center type environment where you have multiple people uh, in a particular room who are partaking in a, uh, let's say, a conference call from uh, some other type of facility, whether it be state, local, or federal, uh, or, uh, federal government. An example of this would be in a command center type environment. You'd have a, uh, in this particular case, you could have a wired C520 phone uh, set up as a primary phone in the room itself. It could also have the capability to either expand, expand out with these small expansion mics, or they can also be uh, Bluetooth connected through our C52 product, which is a satellite microphone. You can add up to two. Uh, uh, add up to two of these in a particular environment. That would give you roughly about a 150 foot range from the unit itself uh, to support that. So uh, actually this would actually support three C52s, DEX speakerphone microphones. The, our wireless, our wire, new wireless C620, which was recently relaunched, um, also can be paired, uh, uh, it's paired via DEC to that particular base station. It supports up to two C52s, giving you, again, over, uh, you know, right around 150 feet worth of range uh, for people in a particular room. So, you know, in a, let's say a six decks, best row of uh, people, you can have a speakerphone sitting in the center, and then these other satellites moved uh, to wherever the other parties need to be, wherever uh, it needs to be in the room itself. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wireless uh, microphones and speaker phones are charged via the same, via docking station as well. And again, 24 hours uh, of charging time and 12 hours of talk time with that as well too. So um, there is a distinct advantage uh, uh, to using these conference phone products. Again, very competitively priced compared to our competition. Darren and the folks at Point Supply can help you with that as well too. So. Um, as we were talking about moving on from, let's say, a command center type of facility, or maybe even an assisted living uh, type of facility, I think a lot of us who are on the call today, or either have a family member or uh, 
uh, directly, uh, a relative, a, a parent, uh, a grandparent, um, someone close to you who's probably either living today or at one time has lived in the assisted living, assisted living facility. One of the unique things about these uh, assisted living facilities today, in a lot of cases they're currently analog uh, based, where they have analog phones in the room itself. Um, some now have upgraded SIP, uh, which is great, and we have uh, some solutions there. Uh, being worked on now for development. But today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, assisted living facilities that potentially would use uh, analog, uh, analog devices. Uh, we have an amplified uh, uh, VTech, as I said before, is a company um, along with Snow that has developed a number of different products out there in the marketplace. An example would be is obviously our amplified series of phones, but uh, kind of one of these little sidebar notes is that even during COVID, our baby monitors were being used in certain scenarios uh, where uh, they had uh, people in, they weren't being able to be put into rooms themselves. They were put into partitioned areas, even in the emergency room. And they were watching to watch the patient to see if they were doing anything or, or movement. What they were actually doing was using our video baby monitors focused in on the patient itself. So uh, again, at that crazy time, and we're all in business, and we all know what our customers have asked us to do. We were, we were asked to help out with that, and we did for a couple of different hospitals around the country, getting our baby monitors out there. Our amplified series of phones also incorporate a little bit of video at the same time with them. Uh, we have a corded base date, uh, corded uh, or cordless wireless based phone. Uh, based phone, it depends on your particular application and what the needs are. Again, uh, deck connectivity for the four uh, cordless accessories that are available with the phone itself. They have either uh, large buttons uh, that are available on the phone itself or even on the handheld, the handheld deck phone. And then they also have visual, uh, large visual ringers that can be set up with photos of a particular person who always calls, let's say a, 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 a parent, your son or daughter who calls, they'll know who's calling in and there's a visual there. Or if they want to use them to call them on the other end, they have that as well too. They have audio, uh, there's audio assist with temporary volume up, increase up to 50 dB. I know my father wears hearing aids and um, again, I myself at the age of 60 have started to notice the suffering, a little bit of hearing loss. But I can understand, so I can, uh, I can appreciate the ability to turn up the DB level during calls or a message playback so you can hear it. Um, we all know we have certain grandparents that tend not to um, uh, believe in hearing aids, so the TV is always at 50 dB level when you walk in the room. But in this particular case, the phone can also be set that way to run so that you can have, uh, uh, you can have that ability to be clear and uh, get some feedback. You have a caller ID announce uh, uh, capability as well. Again, we've added antibacterial plastics uh, to promote, our, uh, again, for our safe and clean environment. Again, uh, again it's not COVID free, but it is the antibacterial. Um, and again, another item that we've also added here is the SOS pendant. So, uh, the registers up to four accessories, large visual buttons. Uh, there is 90 dB ringer volume on certain phones at 50 dB uh, during the calls and message playback. <clears throat> Full duplex speaker uh, across the board, cordless multi multicast paging across the devices itself. Uh, let's say you're in a, 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 some of these facilities have a two room apartment where someone's sleeping in the other room and the other one is. Uh, uh, the other person's out in the other hall or in the bathroom, uh, the capability. Alarm with snooze functionality uh, across the board and a sliding volume control, control so they don't have to necessarily find it, stick it easily adjust it as they're using it. Um, full duplex speaker phone with a four photo speed dial for dialing, just remembering faces. Uh, volume control, multicast paging, uh, and then the, uh, there also is a quiet mode capability for it as well. And then uh, the SOS pendant, which is also uh, of, of interest to a larger, uh, a large number of uh, nursing homes as well too. It's a wearable lanyard. It's uh, uh, IP4 splash proof rating and it can be worn in the shower. It's got a buzzer alert when the buzzer is pressed. Uh, the SOS turns on all speaker phones and base handsets, and it can dial up to five numbers in sequence. So meaning, uh, let's say you're using this, this is at your parents' home. Um, and they, uh, they're not in an assisted living facility. 
A lot of cases are just analog. Mom and dad don't necessarily use the computer, but you have the ability to turn on um, when it goes ahead and goes off as an alarm. It could dial up to five numbers in sequence. So it could dial your home. It could dial uh, dial out to 911 if necessary. Uh, it has uh, extended battery life, and there's even a battery status check as well too. So again, when we think about uh, now, as a uh, think about now uh, and talking with uh, assisted living facilities or any healthcare uh, facilities, or even if you're thinking about it for your own use for a parent, um, uh, for anyone on the call, this is really a good. This is obviously an important feature to have. I'd be remiss in telling everybody if we didn't talk about our rebate program that we just implemented as well too for our uh, for some of our products. Um, it's a brand new program starting July, uh, and it's scheduled to run currently now through July fifteenth uh, of twenty twenty one. It's a pretty simple and basic program. Uh, minimum of five phones and a maximum of two hundred phones. Okay, it's valid on all qualifying SNOM or VTEC uh, or competitor phones. So from a replacement perspective, if you're replacing older SNOM or VTEC phones uh, with our newer phones, absolutely. Uh, our competitor phones, legacy Yalink, legacy Polycom phones, absolutely as well too. And again, the, the latest, the quickest place to get information on this beyond the slide deck that I have currently today is the uh, SNOM Rewards, uh, snomrewards.com, which can give you all the details about uh, the forms to fill out, um, and uh, the forms to fill out and go from there. In addition to that, um, working with Floyd Supply, Floyd Supply can also assist you with the rebate program as well too. They're trained uh, and how it used, uh, uh, how, how to use it. Uh, it's focused on uh, uh, essentially pass through to the uh, end user uh, from the reseller uh, and if, uh, to, to take advantage of that as well too. Um, a re, how a rebate program is set up, it's set up on a, on a, a per device basis. So if we're looking at a, D, uh, a D120 SIP phone, the rebate is $3 per phone. Uh, $717 is $10 per phone. $15 rebate on the $735 and a $20 rebate in the back end for a $785. Um, our deck wireless devices as well too are also included in the program uh, across the board. So whether it's the 65, the 85, or even the uh, the M90, which we showed, we were talking about here from the antibacterial perspective, uh, you have that capability uh, for our seven dollars per handset. So depending on the number of the, the large deal, uh, it can rake in some uh, a significant dollars. Normally, how we like to use a rebate program um, and how I've done it in the past was that when a, a phone quote goes out for the particular uh, customer. As we factor in the number of phones that they're buying in the valid rebate, uh, in the rebate, and we put that in as part of the bottom line of the sale. So again, if you're doing that, as an, uh, doing that out to your, uh, to your customers as well, uh, you could turn around and have the rebate. You, uh, you know, just put that also that into your uh, quote to your customer, and they can turn around and uh, go ahead and see the actual dollars they're gonna get back directly from us. Rebate programs on our uh, speaker phones are also extremely competitive as well, too, for a wireless, uh, our wireless phone at $35, and the SIP-based conference phone is at uh, $35 per device. So that's competitive in the marketplace as well. So I'd like to open it up to Q&A at this point uh, to anybody who has anything. Are there any questions? Looking right now, Tim, see if we have any questions coming in. Any questions on the rebate program, how that would work? It's uh, actually done as a Visa, uh, Visa gift card. Uh, directly to the uh, directly to the customer. Yeah, no questions right now, Tim. If there's anything you want to touch on further, um, or give any examples of that, that 
might be helpful uh, while people maybe think of some questions to ask, but uh, nothing yet. Okay. All right. Any questions on the uh, regarding the uh, amplified series of phones and where they may fit in? Again, these are uh, analog-based devices, so they would actually be more like single-line phones. That if you're working in a healthcare facility that has uh, an existing uh, existing uh, PBX uh, with analog trunks off of it, so you essentially you would take that 2,500 handset or whichever handset that's uh, in the uh, in the uh, uh, the patient's room or in the uh, the residence room, replacing that with uh, with the wireless deck phones. And we've seen some success stories in that in a couple of assisted living facilities around the country. Uh, we can also we can help with that and have that discussion directly with your customer uh, if you would like, uh, and go from there. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any questions coming through here, Tim. Uh, if anybody hits us up on a few questions, I can always uh, answer them myself or reach out to you to, to help with uh, yeah, that's any a, that's opportunities. A great point. Yeah, that's a great point, Darren. Uh, yeah. One of the other things I, I didn't talk about a little bit with that Amplified series is let's say you have a SIP-based uh, application. Um, a VoIP supply has a number of SIP-based uh, partners who they work with. Uh, and we can work closely with those analog amplified series of phones and uh, to help uh, help uh, convert them over via SIP uh, uh, to SIP trunks as well too. And uh, both Darren and myself are more than happy to assist uh, assist with that. I know, for example, if they handle um, Darren, I know you handle patent uh, as one uh, for uh, uh, for SIP uh, ATA conversion. I'm not sure what your other lines you have as well. Yeah, Patton's an excellent partner uh, for that for Gateways, uh, Sangoma, uh, right. and Digim. Obviously, there would be go. a, a good partner for us. Um, I would think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, both both really good partners that could help out with that. Absolutely, I appreciate you bringing that up. Great. That's another thing that Voice Supply brings to the table is that. Uh, to help you as a, a business partner is that the ability to turn around and, uh, and be able to supply just about all of your needs uh, when it comes to uh, uh, telephony applications. It looks like we do have a, a question, Tim, from from Nancy. Um, question that she has in the chat there is, can you use can you use uh, um, use this through SIP providers, not through SIP chunks? Uh, so I would assume it's be she's referring to maybe hosted. We can use yeah. your phones on hosted. I think that's what Nancy is uh, referring to. Right, our D our yeah, D okay. series, our D and our C series of uh, both the uh, obviously the seven hundred series and the five twenty and the. And the P620 are all SIP based phones. The amplified uh, phones themselves are cur currently, we have a SIP line um, down the road under development to uh, uh, that, that would work directly for, with SIP trunking. As I said before, because they're analog based now currently, if you have a SIP based uh, trunk coming in uh, or SIP based line coming in and the need for an amplified development. Uh, or amplified phone. Uh, that's why I was recommending taking a look at the ATAs that are out there, the SIP-based ATAs out there. One thing about patents and Sangomas is they have bank, they sell them in banks. So you could have a number of different uh, SIP trunk, you could bring in SIP trunks, attach them in and have them uh, tied directly back into those ATA, uh, those ATA banks of phones. And again, that's one of those things that we could work up a, work up a solution for you if need be. Yeah, um, maybe I missed it, but do you guys, does, does Snome currently have any, I guess, partnerships with any hosted providers today um, as far as like a more of a certification process? I know that we can work with, Nancy, we can work with some providers that we have if you wanted to reach out to me if you 
you'd like to do that, I'm sure we can make it happen for you with the Sanan product line because it is a, a pretty awesome uh, portfolio of phones to use. But I don't know if you right. had something, Tim, that's already kind of maybe certified or established or on, or on the horizon. Well, what we do is, uh, for example, from a hosted perspective, we support a number of hosted platforms out there currently today. So we work with a number of business partners um, uh, currently today who are either, uh, we support Metaswitch, Broadsoft, uh, Sangoma, uh, a number of different call platforms that are uh, currently out there in the marketplace today. Um, Perfect. Again, our, uh, our products are really kind of steering wheels on the car. Uh, when it comes to a SIP service provider, uh, and and probably in uh, ninety nine percent of the cases, our phones work uh, work great with just about every platform in the market today. Okay, yeah, and uh, Nancy did have a question. I think I kind of know the answer to this one, but you know the M ninety uh, series that you have there, um, those aren't SIP phones, but um, she was asked if these can be used through a hosted, uh, yes, like a hosted provider. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Where the uh, uh, where the SIP truck would terminate in the M90 and the M90 itself, uh, and then it would uh, go out, to, and then you would use it with uh, the device. You would be in a deck, a deck scenario uh, within the premise because it's a premise based. Device. It's a premise based. Uh, the deck uh, unit or the M90 is a uh, let's say in a uh, lack of a Let's say in a hospital, it would tie back into directly can either tie into the uh, uh, tie into the PBX or it can actually work on its own separate SIP trunk and be brought in and work there. Okay, excellent, excellent. And the other thing is about our devices themselves is that um, there's a number of ways, especially when you're deploying DECT as you would, let's say, a 900 megahertz application, you want to make sure you understand the facility and understand where the uh, to place your access points. So that's a that's a, another discussion that we can have and help assist you as well too, uh, because we have the we have some of the tools embedded in the system uh, uh, that work with an outside, uh, essentially a, a, another a tracking tool that will give you the ability to where do I put my access points for best best advantage for uh, for uh, uh, the best overall coverage in a building. Okay. Um, and that looks to be it for questions for right now, Tim. Great. As I said, guys, please feel free to reach out to Darren or myself. Uh, our numbers are uh, in the presentation or in the deck. The presentation will also be up on uh, Voice Over IP, or excuse me, Voice Supplies uh, uh, website. And uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, help and answer questions, uh, answer any questions you guys have. And my email address is tsheehan at vtechphones.com uh, if you have any questions and want to send it out. Uh, also, I'm glad everybody stayed. We'll be drawing the winner after the call and we'll notify you by email uh, if you've won the $100 gift card. Excellent. Yeah, thank you for everybody for attending. Thank you, Tim, for the presentation. Great information as always. And um, yeah, we'll be, uh, we will be in touch soon. Great, guys. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you.